North Korea fired a suspected intercontinental ballistic missile that landed near Japanese territorial waters on Friday. The second such major weapons test this month that shows its determination to perfect weapons systems targeting the U.S. mainland. The launch was the latest in a barrage of weapons tests that North Korea has conducted in recent months in response to what it calls U.S. hostility. Some experts say the North is able to perform such a spree of weapons tests partly because China and Russia have opposed U.S. moves to toughen sanctions on North Korea. The South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said it detected the suspected ICBM launch from North Korea's capital region at quarter past 10 a.m. local time, and the weapon flew towards the North's eastern coast across the country. The statement said South Korea's military bolstered its surveillance of North Korea and maintains readiness in close coordination with the United States. The Japanese Defense Ministry also initially identified the weapon as an ICBM-class ballistic missile. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, visiting Bangkok to attend a regional summit, told reporters it was believed to have landed at sea inside Japan's exclusive economic zone west of Hokkaido, Japan's main northern island.